reflect just for a moment on all the good horses and all the great horses who have thrilled us all over jumps down the years. Horses who have been multi-talented over hurdles and over fences. Horses whose careers have been hallmarked by impressive versatility, remarkable durability, never say die bravery and enduring longevity. But surely only one horse, a very special grey horse, can tick all the above boxes and a few more besides. A horse who was so universally popular that, like film stars and pop idols, he not only became a household name, he had his own official fan club. Desert Orchid was the horse who captured a nation's heart. Bold and brave, fast and fearless, classy and charismatic, Desi's qualities knew no bounds. Enthusiastic, exuberant, exhilarating, a horse with breathtaking natural ability and athletic prowess, he was, quite simply, a joy to watch. Desert Orchid yet to be asked for his effort. I actually imagine he's probably thinking to himself, well, I've got to go round again, Simon. What's going on here? Panto Prince coming up on the outside of him, coming down towards the third from home, and it's Desert Orchid on the inside, and doesn't he jump well? Jim Thorpe was the one that makes a mistake, and Desert Orchid goes on by a couple of lengths, and Panto Prince comes under pressure, and Jim Thorpe tries to close. Both the two speed horses behind Desert Orchid, who comes down towards the second last and jumps it brilliantly. Jim Thorpe through the top of it, Panto Prince in second place. They race down towards the 13th and final fence, and Desert Orchid looks and thinks this is an, it's simply an exercise canter. He's five clear as he comes to it. And what a superb jump by Desert Orchid. He's eight to ten lengths clear, making specialist two-mile chasers look very one-paced. But amazing performances. Desert Orchid, 12 stone, 12 lengths clear, up towards the line. Desert Orchid, 23rd race, and they'll never be easier. A record four victories in the King George VI chase. A Cheltenham Gold Cup, a Whitbread Gold Cup, a racing post chase and an Irish Grand National. Desert Orchid, jumping's four times horse of the year, won them all, plus a whole lot more. What Desert Orchid also achieved was to bolster the dream of everybody who has ever owned or bred a horse by perpetuating the glorious uncertainty of the racing game. Who, for instance, could possibly have predicted that a union between the Sprinter Grey Mirage and a headstrong mare called Flower Child, who had won just two minor steeplechases and whose own dam had changed hands for less than 200 pounds, would produce such a champion as Desert Orchid. But, as history now relates, that's exactly what it did. His phenomenal career, however, very nearly ended before it had really begun. In his very first appearance on a race course, cast your mind back to January 1983. Desert Orchid, a 50 to one shot, was a last flight faller at Kempton in a novice's hurdle. He lay on the ground for more than 10 long and anxious minutes, miraculously and wonderfully, just as fears were rising that he had suffered a serious injury, he scrambled to his feet, thankfully no worse than being tired and winded. In three further starts that season, the nearest Desert Orchid came to a win was a second-placed effort at Sandown, beaten only a neck. The following campaign, however, saw the sensational ascent of a rising star. Desi, a lot darker colour then than he became in later life, won six of his first seven starts, including the Tolworth Hurdle at Sandown and, even more significantly, the Kingwell Patton Hurdle at Wincanton in February, which earned him a place in the Champion Hurdle the following month. Such was his burgeoning reputation that he started second favourite to the mighty Dawn Run. She won, he finished unplaced, far from disgrace though, for a still raw novice and with his whole future ahead of him. Desi, though, was never going to be a tip-top hurdler. The following season, despite winning the Otley hurdle by 10 lengths, he was pulled up in the champion and in the Welsh equivalent. The time, it seemed, had come to move on from hurdles to fences. 
The 1985-86 campaign saw a rebirth. Desert Orchid won his first four races over fences by an aggregate of 64 lengths and also finished third to Oregon Trail in the Arkle Challenge Trophy at the Cheltenham Festival. Still, the best was to come, though not over two miles, but three, and even further. <laughs>